Hello, my name is Muhammad Farhan Khan and I'm going to represent for selection of drill bit on the basis of a specific energy bit selection method. And my outline are introduction, different selection criteria, the main objective drill bit classification, bit hydraulic analysis of hydraulic, big fixed cutter bits, natural diamond bit, impregnated diamond bit, a specific energy equation, formation consideration method, PTC versus roller cone bit, conclusion and reference. So my introduction about this topic is that as we know drilling bit is very important equipment which is used in drilling assembly and selection, selection of proper uh, correct bit of a selection of drill test tells how fast the selection can be drilled. So basically it is on the a different kind of formation. So according to different kind of formation we use different kind of drill bit. So as we in, in this uh, in this my presentation I'm, I'll be talking about mainly I'll be focusing about the specific energy bit selection method. So on the basis of different formation I'll, I'll analyze the bit selection criteria on the like on, on my data which I have worked I'll submit as a supporting word document. In this, I'll be explaining about various para, uh, parameters like drilling cost per foot and time, lithology, different kind of formation, uh, uh, drill ability, and I'll explain the specific energy equation and other factors of the drill bit, which mainly which mainly focus on the selection criteria of drill bit. So this presentation is done on the basis of detailed analysis of different types of spell data. So different selection criteria include cost per foot, bit tenderness, offset data analysis, weight on bit, rate of penetration, specific energy equation reliability, formation consideration method, and characteristic disadvantage about PDC versus roller cone bit comparison of conventional bit mainly roller cone and PDC with new ca new camera hybrid bit so the main objective of this presentation is present each type of drill bits to explain the fundamental characteristic of each type to explain the parameters for using drill bit to introduce the new camera hybrid bit to find uh, out uh, to find out least specific energy for the drill bits to draw conclusion on the basis of my research work which I'll submit the which I'll submit my document as a supportive word documents so classification of drill bit actually drill bit is divided into two parts the first one is a roller cone bit and the second well, second part is fixed cutter bit so the first one is a roller bit is mill tooth tungsten carbide now the further fixed cutter bit is divided into natural diamond bits impregnated diamond bits tsp thermally stable uh, polycrystalline bicenter and pdc polycrystalline diamond diamond bit bit hydraulics actually it is a type of energy which is required to counter the frictional energy loss at the bit or can be expressed as energy expended at bit known as a bit hydraulics it is denoted as h subscript b it is also known as a hydraulic horsepower so h b hydraulic horsepower is so hydraulic horsepower it is a, in this energy will able to tell me how what, where the pressure is losing and how we can work on that and now the analysis of hydraulics the first parameter the first very important parameter in this analysis of hydraulics is rop rate of penetration it tells about the amount of cutting should be removed from the analyst and it has to be controlled from the whole cleaning effectively and sudden 
incensement in ROP should be avoided. The data is required for the analysis of hydraulics is lithology, cutting size, bit type, ROP, total depth of hole selection, formation fracture gradient, hole geometry, mud gradient, type of drilling. So the lithology, when we talk about the lithology, basically we, uh, I try to tell about lithology what kind of formation is and in what kind of formation we are going to drill. Either it can be soft kind of formation, either it can be a loose type of formation. So formation is nothing but the consolidated row, uh, consolidated soil or unconsolidated soil is called is lithology or formation. Cutting size. When we when we go deeper, when we start drilling, drilling, uh, when we start drilling against the surface, so we'll be finding a different kind of cutting sizes the rock can be bigger smaller indifferent in modular indifferent kind of cutting sizes will be finding bit type so like actually what kind of bit type we are using either we are using a roller type bit or either we are using a fixed cutter bit so like it in like according to a formation according to different formation we use or we choose different kind of bit type ROP rate of penetration it is one of the important factor determine which determine the whole scenario the whole scenario of the work so it can it can help to reduce the time it can help to reduce the cost per foot now the total depth of hole selection as we know like when we get like when we plan to drill any kind of well so we know what kind like what should be the total depth of well so on the basis of the total depth of well we divide different kind of casing like the first we go as a conductor casing then the surface then the intermediate casing then the production casing so each casing having their own different kind of depth then the fra formation fracture gradient sometime some uh, sometime uh, excessive of uh, pressure can damage the uh, fracture as well hole geometry like either the hole like what is the size of hole it can be 12 inches more than 24 inches or more than 35 inches as well mud gradient when we drill the or when we start drilling the formation we need uh, we need actually the different kind of lubricant so mud gradient is one of that we the mud gradient is nothing but it's it's a mixture of different chemical which uh, which is used to circulate through the drilling nose and it helps to reduce the drill bit it helps to reduce the uh, uh, the pressure around the nozzle jet and different type of drilling that it can be a rotary or slide fixed cutter bit Actually, fixed cutter bit it consists of bit bodies cutting element which is assembled with bit bodies. Uh, this kind of bit uh, actually fixed cutter bit they don't have the moving parts such as cone or bearing or end component of bit are composed of bit bodies which is made up of steel or tungsten carbide. Natural diamond bit the cutting elements are larger number of bit size diamond and it is distributed across carbide body it doesn't have no moving parts it is used for hard abrasive hard formation when long bit is required it is used in deep and offshore well where rig cost is very high it is used for drilling and pouring as well impregnated diamond bit it is also a different kind of bit in fixed cutter bit it is using even a smaller diamond basically like very very small grid size which is set into a matrix in the blades due to a small size of bit of 10 rate of penetration is very low it is used to drill in the range of one to five feet per hour on average it does not perform well in the rotary drilling because relatively low rop Cost per foot. The most practical method for bit selection is based on per feet, which is determined by using the following equation. So there is a like four to five vari uh, variable in this in this uh, in 
using this formula so like as we know as we can see c is the cost for food directly which is directly c is directly proportional to b so here b is the bid cost so cost as if the bid cost is too much then the cost of uh, cost per foot would be also too much so it is a directly proportional c is directly proportional to b whereas it is inversely proportional to footage drill so footage drill is this f is a footage drill it is a very important para uh, parameter when we start drilling when we start drilling we always should care of a certain factor like trip time drilling type uh, which is in hours, rig cost, and footage drill. So on a, on average, how how uh, how much foot we are drilling in per hour, or how much foot is is being drilled in per second or in per minute. So that is is that is very important para uh, parameter which totally the the cost of the rig is depend and it also used to in uh, decrease the time as well and it also helps to save the money it also helps to save the time so is, C is very important para, uh, parameter and there is a uh, there is a four a four to five variables then the specific energy equation the specific energy equation is defined defined as the energy required to remove a unit volume of rock and bit that require lowest specific energy so the first is e is equal to w2 pi rn so here is a w here is w is equal to weight on bit weight on bit so the question is that what is a weight on bit so weight on bit is a very important para uh, parameter uh, when we start drilling, so the bottom hole of the drill bit, that is a, like a bottom assembly of the drill bit, sometimes is 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 not uh, effectively. Uh, we are not able to drill when we find a very hard type of formation. So what we do, we use another type of like little sub above the bit, which which is used to increase the weight. So that is called weight on bit. So here. 2 pi r r is a rate of penetration v is equal to pi r is square is equal to rp and this after these two equation equation a and equation b and after consideration are uh, like a different factor as well the specific energy is equal to 2.35 wnt by df so where is t is equal to torque s is equal to specific energy mj by mq and WOB weight on bit which is represented in LBS RPM is rotation rotational speed ROP is a rate of penetration so this uh, this whole work is basically is uh, uh, depend on the specific energy equation as we started as we know like uh, in the drilling industry we are talking about the automation so basically what uh, what we can do in this all the this is all the new technology it is it previously it also has been in uh, used this kind of technology but we haven't able to solve the real problem of drilling like uh, in the real problem is like a various factor is included like the cost for food or time or the money and the investment so like uh, because of this new technology new kind of innovation which is done in the drilling industry on the basis of that we can easily sum up all this technology and uh, i'll submit my supporting document as well i have worked on different kind of wells data which shows particularly if we uh, if we select a correct type of bead in a correct type of formation it can re it can it can help us to save up a lot of money it can help to save up a lot of uh, 
investment and it can also give a very uh, very detail uh, a very uh, detail kind of a solution which is looking for in the drilling industry so this is a formation uh, consideration method so like when we start choosing a bit actually we choose a bit on the different kind of formation so like we we take care of like either the formation is a soft kind of formation either it is a medium soft or either it is a medium hard or it is a very hard so, so when we uh, like when we mention a soft it can be a soft clay red bed top hole clay consolidated formation mostly when we start drilling a formation the first layer of the formation is considered as a very soft clay so it consumes a very less energy and on the top formation our bit is very uh, even our bit is not so uh, uh, damaged it's, it doesn't consume a lot of energy with uh, on the first layer we don't need to use any kind of external support of weight uh, that is called a weight on beat but as we start increasing the depth as we start increasing the depth and we start going deeper and deeper maybe we'll be finding a different kind of formation either it can be a very hard either it can be a medium hard so uh, the depth is um, is starting uh, maybe it can it can start the we can start getting the hard formation consolidated rock uh, after uh, 3000 in somewhere maybe in the somewhere 3000 feet somewhere around 5000 feet so it's totally uh, it, it can't be summarized as a constant uh, is it, it depend on a different kind of uh, formation it depend on a different kind of structure as well it depend on different kind of area as well now here we go like pdc versus roller cone so like why we chose a roller cone over a P pdc bead steel tooth and used in a top top hole where the formation is soft as i told like when we uh, when we start drilling the first layer the first layer is a very uh, like is, is a soft clay so we don't need to use too much energy on that so because of that we can use uh, we can use different kind of selection bit maybe roller cone bit or the first the first layer it can maybe like 450 to 500 somewhere uh, in, in some formation it goes like 300 as well so it's, it's totally depend on the driller or drilling engineer when we design a bit or when we design to drill a whole section of uh, a well then we can use a tci which is used in the medium to very hard formation where pdc does not work uh, even it's a slow to medium rop which is a rate of penetration good stability cheaper than pdc low torque and uh, conclusion is specific energy as a bit selection method is a very important and indispensable criteria for selecting a drill bit for a particular formation in this report, after careful study, it has been found out that the PDC beat it, both the well gave the lowest specific energy. Hence, there is no doubt that the PDC beat is the most optimum beat for both the wells. But along with the specific energy, we have to consider cost per foot also, hence using PDC bit increase the cost of operation. Now, there is new technology that is called the Kimbra hybrid bit. In Kimbra hybrid bit, we we use different type of technology of the bit as a one. So that is the Kimbra hybrid bit. Thank you very much.